hi guys um welcome to my channel uh, my name is jen for those of you who do not know me um i want us to come on and kind of do this video because approximately four years ago i made a video entitled my daughter's natural hair journey and um in that video i kind of um gave you guys her journey her story with her hair um i talked about my decision to um relax her hair at a young age and then again my decision to um for her to go natural um i'm not going to go into my reasons for um choosing to relax my daughter's hair in this video um but i am going to come on and give you guys sort of an update on what's going on with her hair right now um so keep in mind i made that video about four years ago at the time i believe she was like 11 years old um my daughter is currently well she'll be 15 in two weeks and um she is currently no longer natural um she made a decision um approximately two years into being completely natural um she made the decision herself that she no longer wanted to be a part of this journey she wanted her relaxer and i completely respect her decision some of you may feel differently some of you may have strong feelings towards that and i respect your feelings and your opinion and all that um but it was her decision and i respect her decision and um you know it's her hair she can do what with it whatever she chooses to it's her hair so um so right now she is currently relaxed um she made the decision um to go back to relaxed hair because her decision well her journey um in the natural hair process was kind of a struggle and it really was a struggle for both of us um because for me i i don't know if a lot of you guys um kind of even grasp the idea of how extremely thick her hair is um my my daughter her name is joey um she has extremely thick hair and extremely long hair um at the time that she had uh, gone natural, we cut it. So she bit chopped and her hair grows extremely fast. Um, so, you know, in that two year time, you know, both of us had big chopped and, and her growth had far surpassed my own. Um, but um, so, okay, so she had um, issues during her journey um because she is on top of having extremely thick hair and extremely long hair she's extremely tender headed so um it was always a chore to do her hair for both of us i mean it was a source of stress um she would be stressed because she would never want it to be washed because she knew that entailed detangling and all the everything that comes along with washing natural hair she wanted no part of it so um she um she experienced being extremely tender-headed it was a very painful process for her um for me um it was extremely time consuming because again it's an awful lot of hair um and on top of that i was wrestling with my own monster and um it was just a lot and there were a lot of other factors that kind of played into the decision for her um and my um decision to really support it because i knew that um you know at the time we had a lot going on at the time so let me backtrack a little bit <clears throat> um when we made that decision to go natural because i had made the decision to go natural first and then she soon followed suit um when we made that decision we were in a process of selling a house we were in a process of um moving um across to a different state i mean we moved one state over um but it was still you know a move and um not only that um i had just started a new job i was commuting um an hour to work um which is another reason why we had made the decision to move um 
it was just so many different factors that played into that um it was a stressful time uh, if any of you have ever sold a house you would know um the headache that it is trying to sell a house so um on top of a new job trying to find a place to live trying to sell the current place there was really no time to deal with hair my hair her hair any of that so at that time i had um decided that okay if both of us are going to be on this journey we probably need to um seek professional help because um you know while i am extremely good at maintaining relaxed hair and keeping her hair healthy and being on top of i mean we had a routine um we and i'll i'll go kind of go into that routine a little bit um later on in this video but we kind of had a routine and it really really worked for us and it, it grew her hair um and i made the mistake of thinking that i could stick to that same routine with her natural hair and um that kind of created an issue for both of us because it made her hair a little bit um harder to manage and it made it an extremely pain painful process for her so um i made the decision to seek professional help i went to a stylist um and it kind of i i i'm gonna be honest with you my decision to go to a stylist for her natural hair it kind of made the situation worse because um that's a whole nother story but long story short it was a very painful process for her it was even more painful for her to go to the stylist than to have me do it because that stylist was not very gentle with her hair and um she was just in a lot of pain and she was just tired of um just dealing with the ins and outs of what it was to be natural for her um so um that day she had made the decision she her scalp was very tender she was in a whole lot of pain and she had decided okay i no longer want to do this and so i wasn't going to force her um i told her to think about it to you know i wanted to make sure that she was certain that this was what she wanted to do and um that was the decision that she made so we waited a little bit to give her her hair time to kind of heal her scalp time to adjust and all that goodness and she made the decision to relax so um i'll kind of put in a few pictures of what her hair looks like i don't have very many because again um within the past four years we've gone through a lot of different changes so it wasn't really a lot of time to even focus on hair and all that so i have a few pictures um of what her hair um what her hair looks like now um but i'll kind of um go through with you guys what um i was doing with her hair um and her, um, what i'm currently doing with her hair now that she's again in her relaxed state we are back to our same routine as before um and it's a lot easier um for both of us um she is uh joey is just starting high school so um just getting in the flow of that and getting our routine and everything going it's working for us so let's go into some of the products um that i use for her relaxed hair so her relaxed hair a lot of you guys were asking about um damage to her hair and saying that it's not going to be healthy and how can it be healthy hair if it's relaxed hair okay so my take on healthy hair is hair that is growing and thriving and it looks healthy and it feels healthy and it's nice and bouncy and she had movement and her ends were not damaged. To me, that's healthy hair. Um, so some of the items that I was using, we had a very, very simple routine for her hair. Um, I would um, wash and condition her hair every two weeks um when i was natural myself i would do it a lot more often but again i don't have as much hair as joey does so um every two weeks would be our regimen um i would wash it and i would wash it with pantene pro v um i would use several different variations of pantene pro v for me it doesn't really matter pantene pro v is just a really good product 
um and that's what we use um so um i would wash it with pantene pro v and um then i would go ahead and condition it as well um and i would detangle um with the conditioner and i detangle her hair and um we go through that process i'd uh rinse it out and we just blow dry um her hair does not require a lot of product um when in its relaxed state um her scalp produces its own oils on its own i don't have to add anything additional to it and before we go into um questions about her race she is 100 percent black <laughs> uh, i know it sounds like a crazy concept to you guys to not have to add any type of oils or grease or anything to her hair but i'm telling you this is what works for us this is what grew her hair out um as long as we got it and in the video you'll see i got her hair to the point where it was waist length um so we use these two products um to wash and condition her hair every two weeks we blow dry it and it go it will go right into the ponytail and i'll show you a picture of the ponytail that we did we didn't do a lot of fancy hairstyles with her hair we didn't um, manipulate her hair a whole lot um she had her signature ponytail and that's what she wore that's what worked for me that's what worked for her she was never really a huge fan of getting her hair done anyway um so we did her ponytail and that ponytail not manipulating her hair not um pulling her hair too tight being very gentle on her edges um just leaving her hair alone it's just the whole concept of leaving her hair alone we would wash it condition it ponytail it and we'd leave it alone until you know every day we would you know refresh the ponytail of course um before school or before she went somewhere um but we didn't do a whole lot of parting and styling and braiding and all that we we didn't do that um so that was another um factor that kind of contributed to her hair being able to grow and thrive um the way it did so now we are back to that same regimen we are only using the pantene pro v shampoo and conditioner and again it does not matter um what kind you use um uh some of you may not know i am an extreme couponer so i coupon uh, a bunch of different varieties brands all that jazz we use it all um and i'll kind of i'll even throw in a picture of you guys uh for you guys so you can kind of see the extent of which i coupon this shampoo and conditioner because uh we are huge fans of it we love it it works for her i love the smell she loves it it works so um that is what we do um somebody uh, i wanted to kind of address some questions that you guys had um posted in regards to her hair um i don't have them up as of right now um but i'll try to see if i can remember some of the questions that you posted i know somebody asked me why did i make the decision to cut her hair in a previous video um and uh her hair had grown out to waist length and um i made this decision to cut it because it's just a lot of hair it's it's a lot of hair um for us uh, when she reached waist length it was just too much to handle uh, even though it was just only going into that one little ponytail um actually it was not quite little ponytail um uh, but it was just it was a lot so um we just decided to cut it um i'm pretty sure it was more my decision than her decision but she wasn't the one that had to maintain it so we cut it to a reasonable length and plus i like the idea of her hair being completely symmetrical and i like for her ends to be nice and um clean and um healthy so that was the reason why we cut it um so yeah again she is um natural um i made the decision myself to continue on with my um natural hair journey um and it is still a struggle for me to stay on top of doing my own hair um but i'm, I'm making it work so um if you guys have any additional questions regarding 
um, Joey's hair journey or my hair journey, let me know. Um, I'll go ahead and post pictures of, um, so you guys can have an idea of what her hair looks like um, now. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all the questions, comments, words of encouragement, everything. Um, I'm glad I was finally able to get this video out to you guys because it had been weighing on my mind for a while. I knew I wanted to post it. Um, it was just difficult trying to find the time to do so. So um, again, thank you guys for tuning in. Please be sure to like this video if you have not checked out my daughter's natural hair journey video. Um, I'm linking it in the description box. Please check that out. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a good one guys.